Yo, what is up guys, so for today I'm bringing you Destiny 2 now. If you guys notice, this is earlier than the update for Season of Dawn because I'm recording this literally the day before Season of Dawn comes out on Monday. And the reason I'm doing that is because mostly because I don't have a video for tomorrow and I kind of want to have a video explaining my thoughts and hopes about the new season. That way people don't think I'm dick writing when they think when I say some good or bad things about a uh, Destiny 2 Season of Dawn. So mostly we're going to be going through like kind of like a list. We're going to be talking about like Eververse, PvE, PvP, and then Endgame. So in my opinion, Eververse is probably going to be garbage still. I mean, I, I get you guys, like, I get a lot of people saying, uh, oh, but they're changing how Eververse is working next uh, tomorrow, which is essentially, she's going to give 80% more items, and the season bounties, you're going to be able to actually get bright dust from it. And I'm like, that's cool, that's really cool, I got that, like, you, I feel you, but grinding for the bounties is still garbage so that's my issue with it because it would have been i would have been completely fine if they had kept us being able to like grind for bright dust but having the engrams drop at every two levels instead of each level or, or instead of each five levels how it is now i feel like that way only people that play like a lot like people that no life it would be would get a lot of bright dust I think that would be a great change because ultimately there are people out there that just want to play Destiny too and I'm kind of one of them like yeah sure I'll play other games but mostly like I need kind of like an anchor game like something that I can just com com like always go back to and like just play because I've been doing that since Destiny 1. So not playing Destiny 2 I mean great like it's it is great because I get to play other games more but it just feels weird because like I am not used to not playing Destiny 2 for at least like 30 40 hours a week so that's just a little weird thing for me from me but like yeah ultimately i think eververse is probably gonna get worse somehow i don't know how but they're gonna make it worse if not they're probably gonna cool it down with eververse this this uh season and then next season they'll fuck it up like i'm telling you like the destiny has a track record of like pushing too much and then stopping it and then next time kind of like pushing it even more so that way they can just continually like move the like goalpost. I forget what the saying is, but yeah, overall, I think Eververse is going to be okay. Like not okay. I mean, it's going to be garbage, but I don't know, man. I know the Eververse armor is going to be amazing. I know that most of the skins for weapons and exotics are going to be amazing. I'm not really into emotes. I know the ghost ship and sparrows are going to be dope. There's definitely going to be sundial themed ghost ships sparrows and whatnot in the eververse it's just i'm actually that kind of, that brings me to sundial i think the sundial is going to be fun for like the first week or two and then it's just going to kind of drop off unless they actually have a lot of like f gameplay variety rewards like there, it's just so many things that i can think of that can make it good but i kind of have to like they said, lower my expectations. So ultimately, yeah, I think this is going to be a menagerie, but like for poor people, like that's how I see it. Like a really low level menagerie because menagerie is basically what they're trying to do, which is, I mean, a good thing and a bad thing because I don't think they should go for menagerie level. I think they should like expand and try something new. But I mean, like, hey, at the end of the day, hopefully Sundial's fun. And it has enough variety where it just kind of keeps me in there for a little while. Because ultimately, if not, I mean, I could I could go back do old content. Because there's some weapons that I still don't have god rolls with. But ultimately, that's not part of the season. That's just me kind of try just playing the game by myself. Like, I'm playing old content. So, at that point, ooh, I don't know, man. So, PvE, yeah. Hopefully Sundial's fun. I know the armor is going to be okay. I know the armor for the battle pass is going to be pretty cool. Although I do think it's more of a reskin than what we got this season. But whatever. And when I say reskin, I mean res like how the Vex armor that we got from Vex Offensive. 
is just kind of like a reskin of the armor from the battle pass but it's enough changes where it's like it doesn't bother me because it looks vastly different not only that but it's actually part of the theme where the old vex look like they're they have like moss and grass growing and then the new the old vex are like the ones that look new and like futuristic so that makes sense thematically and it's enough change for me that i don't mind but the armor that we got for season of the dawn it literally just looks like when a power ranger like base power ranger and then the battle pass armor just kind of looks like them evolving into like a stronger version which i mean there are some power rangers uh skins that look cool when they're transformed but it looks like a basic picture version of just like i'm more purple now it's like eh whatever that's what i mean pvp i don't see them doing anything really i mean they have been saying a few things here and there i don't expect trials to come this season although it would have been great thematically because osiris is back we're in mercury it would have been awesome if uh trials of osiris happened it could still happen i mean like yeah it could but ultimately i i highly doubt it i would love it not because of me but more because the community really wants it and like just anything to keep the community alive and just happy is like for me a win because ultimately there's just a lot of negatives that's happening right now and ultimately i it was funny to me because uh, shadow our shadow keep was supposed to fix all of that but it really didn't so <clears throat> hopefully they have that renewed focus that they were talking about before shadow keep came out because they i'm not gonna say they haven't done any changes they have it's just that it's it's not enough like there's still no rewards in the game there's literally nothing to do in pvp like there's no reason to do comp there's no reason to do regular just casual play like there's really like unless you don't have all the weapons from comp there's really no reason to do it so for the people who have like been just grinding comp just because they find it fun for like those seven people i'm not i'm kidding there's more but it's just there's no reason to ever do comp there's no reason to play pvp in general it doesn't do anything so ultimately i think they need more rewards more incentives just more anything literally so for me pvp needs to needs a massive like just overhaul like it needs to be looked at more because destiny's really look really sleeping on pvp because pvp for me at least it's one of the things that keeps me in a game long because it for destiny one especially for like the huge lulls that we had i did like probably 30 percent pve and the rest was pvp because ultimately pvp can keep a game alive for so long and i bungie's just sleeping on it i don't know why but they're sleeping on it so i need i think they knew really need to get on that and then end game honestly i think end game is probably gonna suffer because we're not getting a raid from what we know and sundial is the only pve thing that we're getting so honestly we could probably do like getting armor getting weapons that's it because that's literally everything we're getting apparently that's the one thing is just there's not enough rewards in pve because eververse is taking most of it because for sure there's going to be a sundial themed everything at eververse and when people don't see a problem with that that's when i kind of just kind of like look back and be like why are you playing then this is like this is just glorified like oh yeah look at my guardian he looks cool it's like where'd you get that eververse ten dollars like oh okay where'd you get that armor set eververse fifteen dollars like oh okay so so what do you earn in game oh i got this cool gun that's not meta it's like uh where'd you get that oh the new the new season uh, the sundial it's like oh so it's not meta no nah, no nah, it's really garbage but it looks cool it's like uh why are you using it then oh because it looks cool with this armor oh okay so you know i, I no one sees a problem with that like there's no in-game loot to really grind for what happened to all these free updates that we got because we paid for eververse like i don't understand like this is more of an eververse video but it's just i don't have much faith in season of dawn now i, I like i said it could change tomorrow when i start playing it and i will for sure have a video of all the usual spiel when a dlc comes out where i look at eververse and then look at pretty much everything else because eververse is the first thing i look at but 
I yeah, me me personally, I'm just not really excited to open up Destiny 2, see Season of Dawn, and then just kind of be disappointed because all we're gonna have is Season of Dawn, and then Iron Banner is gonna have the same ar armor that dropped for what the the second time already. So we're gonna be able to get it a third time. Sounds amazing. I mean, we're getting apparently three new weapons. If those pictures are correct, that's cool. I mean, I would love armor as well. I mean, I don't think that's too much to ask. It's an event that comes all the time. So, like I said, the only way they would fix that for me is if they, like, if they ended up having all the armor from all the seasons before Forsaken. Because that's how where you got the Iron Truage, but... After everything of like after Forsaken until now, all those armor sets became ornaments. Now I know that's not gonna happen because Bungie as of late has started to really recycle a lot of their content. So what I see them doing is actually just bringing back old armor so that you can grind for it. Which kinda sucks because a lot of the armor from Iron Banner, aside from season two and three are really bad like bad really bad in my opinion the events that are coming out are essentially just what is it the dawning and crimson doubles which is essentially just going to be crimson eververse and the eververse so yeah i don't really have much faith in the events either i'm actually really excited for the dawning because if you guys don't know, one of the coolest armor sets from an event has popped up in the Dawning. And I unfortunately did not get it because at the time, I don't think I was playing. And last year, I don't think they they gave it out as a as an in-game loot. It was it was a silver only. And at the time, I just I couldn't I couldn't put the money down for it because I didn't have a job. But it just kind of kills me that I'm going to have to put down forty five dollars for an armor set that you used to be able to get in game. So yeah let me know what you guys think about the new dlc that's going to come out tomorrow if you guys are playing it let me know i'm most likely going to be playing this after this video is up or be waiting patiently in my computer ultimately i don't have much faith in this dlc might never know it might actually destroy it might slap and if so i'm happily gonna eat my words because it's not like i'd want this franchise to do bad like i really want it to do well so i hope i'm wrong but Destiny's track record does not tell me it's wrong. So, so, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. Thank you, everyone, for watching up to this point. And other than that, I will see you guys later.